Hey guys, this is Versatile from VSC Pirate, now hosted on the Project Phoenix Media Game Channel. Today's video game tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take your PS2 game controller that you have connected to your PC, or maybe you got some kind of PC game controller, and emulate, or actually enable, vibration in your game controller. It's awesome. And yes, it works with Xbox 360 Control Emulator program, so you can enable vibration in all your PC games. It's awesome. So how does this work? If you go to the more info section, I got a link where you can download this program called PS2 Gamepad Converter Driver. Download it and extract it to your desktop is what I did. If you're curious about the type of joystick adapter I'm using, take a look in the bottom left corner of this video. I'm using a twin USB joystick adapter, which allows me to connect one or two PS1 or PS2 game controllers. So if I go to my control panel real quick here, I'll show you exactly what it looks like right now. And we can see that here my analogs are working, buttons are working, D-pads working, select start, everything's working. But I don't have any vibration stuff, right? So if I go back and let's run the auto run.exe. And here is a list of all these different adapters. So my particular adapter is this guy, which looks exactly like my twin USB joystick adapter. Maybe you have a different controller that's very similar to one of these other guys, or maybe you got a wheel or something like that. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and install a driver for my adapter. You go ahead and install the driver that's most representative, most representative excuse me, for your adapter, and click on Setup here. And then what we're going to do is uh, make sure you click OK, click on Next, install the driver, click on Finish, and then we can exit this and you're good to go. So now, if I go back to my game controllers, and let me turn on my video camera to record this because this is pretty awesome stuff here, is I go to Properties, and here we see it looks a little different. My analogs are working, D-pads, buttons. Okay, awesome. Calibration, you need to calibrate, you can do that. But here's the vibration test. So take a look in the camera, guys. I'm going to press both force right now, and my controller is going to vibrate. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Stop that. So you can also adjust the vibration strength to so like 85%, 100%, uh, 34%, whatever you want. And then press OK and you're good to go. So now when you're playing your PC games, maybe you're using the X360 control emulator or whatever, your game controller is going to vibrate in the game if it supports vibration. It's awesome. So that is today's video game tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.